Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, bringing you a new review. Uh, so last week we took a look at some Zigbee smart plugs. This week we're going to look at some new Wi-Fi smart plugs from Broadlink. Now I know a lot of you probably are familiar with Broadlink uh, and all of their IR and RF uh, technology and transmitters that they do, but today we're going to look at some Wi-Fi smart plugs, uh, specifically the SP4M model. It doesn't even require an app. You can basically add them to your Wi-Fi network and then, of course, get them set up in Home Assistant and Alexa and other things, whatever you want to do. Let's check it out. So they were kind enough to send me over a, uh, a three-pack of these but you can get them individually on Amazon for about $6.99, which is actually a pretty good deal. So if you haven't had a chance, uh, hit the description below and jump over to Broadlink's website and see what else they have to offer. Otherwise, here we go. Let's do a quick run through of everything we're gonna cover in this video. So of course, for starters, we'll unbox the device. Uh, once we do that, then we're gonna get them plugged in and configured on our network. After that, we will get it added into Home Assistant. And lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so like I said, they sent me over a three pack of uh, these smart plugs. Pretty standard box, uh, small form factor. And I like the way that these plugs are set up as you can plug two of them into a regular wall jack and they should fit just fine uh, because they put the buttons and stuff off to the side so it makes them a little bit easier to use in some situations. But basically I got the three plugs in the box and that was it. Uh, there's some instructions on how to get it set up uh, with Alexa and other things like that. But there's really not a whole lot of stuff involved and we're going to look at that uh, in the next step. All right, so my plan for this plug is to set it up uh, for my son's uh, computer monitor. Uh, so he has a computer in his room. He also kind of uses it for television and stuff. And I want to be able to uh, get it configured when it's time for him to uh, go to sleep or whatever. He can just have Alexa turn off the screen and it will go off. We'll get this thing plugged into the wall here. And so we're going to configure it with the Broadlink app, but this is not required. We're going to go up here to add device. It's going to ask if we have it in AP setup mode, which if you see it blinking uh, blue, then it should be good to go. Basically, when you pull it straight out of the box and plug it in, it automatically goes into AP setup mode. So now my phone is connected to the uh, AP mode of the plug. We'll add it to my home network here. We can go ahead and say what room it's in, and of course we'll give it a name. I'm going to call it Caden's Monitor. Because that's where we're going to use it. And that's it. I mean, it's already added and in the app and everything, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so in order to get it added into Home Assistant, we need to know the IP address of the plug. Now, of course, you can get that from your home router, and I advise you to probably go ahead and set up some sort of... Uh, static reservation so that it keeps the same IP address every time. You can also get the IP address from the app on your phone, so that's what we're going to do here. Hit the three dots in the top corner, go to property, 
Uh, then we're going to click on device info and as you can see there it lists out the IP address of the plug so we'll be able to use that in getting it set up in Home Assistant. Adding it into Home Assistant is super easy. We'll go into integrations and basically we're just going to go ahead and hit the plus down here for add new integration. We'll click on Broadlink. The IP address, as you saw earlier, was 10.10.10.89, so we're going to put that here. Of course, it's going to want you to unlock the device, uh, and Home Assistant can actually take care of that for you, so you'll say, yes, we want to unlock it. And, of course, now we have it added into uh, Home Assistant. There we go. And here, of course, we can change the name if we want to. Uh, I think it adds switch to the end of the name, which is kind of weird. But uh, other than that, we're ready to go. We'll move on to that last step and see it in action. All right, so, of course, I have Home Assistant up in the corner. On the side over here, we have the monitor that's currently turned on, so let's go ahead and turn it off. As you can see, it's pretty quick. And if we turn it back on again, it comes right back on. That's it, guys. This was a super easy setup for a plug that's less than 10 bucks. Uh, you can't beat it. If you haven't had a chance, again, jump over to Broadlink's webpage, see what else they have to offer. Their link is in the description below. Otherwise, let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So again, for starters, we unboxed the device. Once we did that, of course, then we just got it plugged in and set up on our home network. After that, we added it into Home Assistant, and lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you haven't had a chance, jump over to my Teespring merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. Also, if you haven't had a chance, check out IP Vanish's VPN service. Uh, jump over to their website. They're offering some good holiday deals right now, and you definitely don't want to miss out on those. As always, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that you haven't already seen, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see what I can get together for you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.